Look, up in the sky, it is a bird, it's a plane, it's a what the heck is that? I'll tell you what it is. Invented in 1923, it is the flying machine of the future. And as always on the Mercer Report, the future is now. Welcome to Kitchener Waterloo, where today I master the gyrocopter. And this is Neil Loback. He is the owner of Gyro Ontario. Hello, Neil. How are you? I'm very well, Rick. How are you? Neil. Neil is the man that you want to talk to if you want to fly a gyro, correct? Yes, that's right, sir. This, my friends, is the gyrocopter, a.k.a. the gyroplane, correct? Yes. First question, where is the rest of it? <laughs> no, 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 this is a complete Is there unit. a roof? Uh, no, there's no roof. This no is roof. open flying. What else could an engine like that be used for? I mean, I've seen bigger engines on, like, skidoos and that's, stuff. That's true. We've had some experienced pilots come flying, and they all enjoy it. The simplicity. No hydraulics, no electronics. No. Just you and the aircraft. I hate hydraulics and electronics. <laughs> Where have those things ever got you? Well, back here, there's nothing. There's, like, literally, there's one button. What is one that? One instrument. What so is... that that's my airspeed indicator and altimeter. How fast will we go? Uh, we'll be doing about... 160 kilometers an hour or something like that. Oh, C2A, my favorite. Neil, can you explain quickly how the rotor works? Because it doesn't look like it's powered by your engine. No, it's it's not powered by the engine. You might have mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're working with the laws of physics here. Oh, good. So imagine a maple seed. Imagine a maple seed as you drop it. It's uh, it accelerates a little bit and then it starts to spin and then it slows down. Oh, it that's comforting. We're so, like a maple seed. That's exactly. I what have we are. one of those trees in front of my house, and some of them come down like that, and some of them go whoo whoo whoo, and then go right into the sewer. <laughs> yeah, ho hopefully that won't the happen sewer. to us. The sewer. Is that sharp? Ah. There's no hunting from a gyrocopter, right? Uh, no. No. That's a no no. Definitely a no no. You okay back there? I'm good. Oh, we're up. We're up. This is such a weird feeling. It's a good weird, though, right? Oh, it's a good weird. Good weird. Definitely good weird. Okay, so you want to do some flying grip? Yeah, I'll fly. Okay, so right hand gently on the stick. Yeah. And you're gonna follow me through, okay? Okay. So you have control of the stick. I do. Okay, let's go left a little bit. That's it. And then back to center. Oh my goodness. Really sensitive. That's really sensitive. So you basically got the stick until I say I have control, okay? Uh, okay. All right. I have the stick. Oh, that's the words you wanna hear. What's our altitude right now? About 20 feet. 20 feet off the ground. Yeah. A basketball player could slap us. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally right, right. Two niner, niner, niner cleared right down when report established. Right. Sure, this suit looks good if you got a 32 inch waist. What a good uh, uniform landing. Zulu Zulu uh, lineup on the runway number two for departure. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Can I sit in the front now? Yes, you can sit in the front now. Yes! Okay, I've gotten a bit of a ground school here. I've learned about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about nine mission critical things that I will be in charge of on this flight, and uh, off we go. Let's do it. How far can this go in a tank of gas? We have about three and a half hours of fuel on board. So we could go to like Niagara? Wine country. I like wine. Okay. This is starting to dawn on me now what I'm about to do. Okay. Whoa, nice. Better be for the front, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is phenomenal! Different view in the front! Yankee Alpha Papa, not below 2,100 to the zone. Now that felt Florida, like turbulence. Yeah, a little bit. I thought there wasn't going to be turbulence. Oh, there's always a little bit of a wind. Yeah, I know. See, I'm figuring you out. <laughs> You're one of those people who goes, eh, a little bit of wind, when there's actually a lot of wind. Oh! What was that? That was a little bit of wind. That was a little bit of wind. 
So that's Hamilton to the, my left. Yeah, that's Hamilton City. You can see the Skyway over there. So that's Hamilton. So my guess is vineyards are that way. Look at this. I'm flying over the big city. I totally feel like a weather guy now. <laughs> I can see the CN Tower from directly across the lake. It's starting to feel like wine country. Yeah, it's starting to look like wine country. OK, the altitude is dropping. Yep, hands back on the stick. Oh, yes, yeah. Ho, 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 over the road, over the power lines. Here we go. Oh, boy, that's smooth. Wow, in a cornfield. Oh. That was unbelievable. Well, I'm Rick, you're now a Jaronaut. Welcome to wine country. Thank you, Neil. An incredible adventure. You're welcome, Rick. Take good care of her. Onward to cheese country.